In this tutorial, I'm going to try to show you how to do transparency label on the transparency model here. So, first thing that we need is a label. I know you're in Seattle and you like the, I like baseball, so I'm going to use a Mariners. And also, we need an alpha mask. How we are going to cut that label. So, in V-Ray, when we are dealing with opacity, black means 100% transparency and white means 100% matte. So we are going to see what is on the white area and we are going to remove the black color. Okay, so going back to V-Ray, this is what I have. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a material and after the material creation, I need to use the UV mapping to position the decals to let me right know where we want the, that decal. So I have I already have the material here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second layer. This is my first layer called glass mat, and then I'm going to add in over this one. I'm going to create a new material where I'm going to put the decal. So I'm going to go and click on this add layer icon and then I'm going to select the whole VR, VR, uh, V-Ray material. So the reason why I'm going to select this one is because then I could add further properties like reflection or refraction if I want to the decals. Okay, so I have a material, another full material. This material is in, is in top of the glass. That's why we have this gray color. Okay, so I'm going to rename this material here, and I'm going to put decal. All right. So, just to give you an idea how the opacity work, um, value of one, which is which is white, is 100% matte. So I'm not be able to see the material below, which which is the glass. If I put zero, which is black then I'm going to see the whole thing. Something in between mid-gray, I'm going to see something, you know, 50% matte, 50% transparency. So what I want to do right now is just add the decals on my diffuse. So I'm going to select bitmap. I'm going to my hard drive and select the logo, right? So because we don't have a nice UV mapping for this guy, it's all over the places. So we're going to fix that later. And the second thing that we need, actually, let's fix this UV mapping first, and then we are going to do the, uh, the, the mask so you can see the transparency a little bit better. OK, for now, we finish with this. Let me close this. And we are going to select the bottom. And the best way to create a decals is adding a planner projection. So we're going, to, we're going to do a planner projection. We're going to select this guy. And we are going to create a planner. And this planner projection has to be proportional to the dimension of the uh, label. We don't know that, so I'm going to eyeball it. So here, what we have, we have the label already there. Of course, it's repeatable. We're going to fix that. But I'm going to show the mapping to better position the decals. So um, in the top view, probably I want to move to the outside. And then maybe I'm going to rotate this guy a little bit here. Um, maybe I'm going to do some, some rotation here to do these kind of projections. So let's set that this is what we want. Of course, maybe, maybe it's a little bit um, squish, so I'm going to scale up from the top to get it more proportional. Okay, that. Let's say that this is what we want. Label is there. We have the correct position right here. We could put it more in the top or the bottom, whatever you want, but this is uh, the position that I'm going to use. I'm going to apply now the mask to have some transparency. Okay, so I'm going to go to the opacity. Click on the, on the texture slot, select a bitmap, and then I'm going to select my black and white 
information. So here we go. So we have now some transparent, which is really good. The problem is that my object is repeating a few times. So we need to avoid that. So I'm going to go to here to the texture placement and disable the repeat. And when I disable the repeat, notice what happened. So I only have transparency on the area where the decals, where the UV mapping is uh, affecting the area. So that means that V-Ray doesn't know what is happening outside that box. Because outside that box, we have a white material and we want transparency. So remember that in V-Ray, to have transparency, we need black. Right, so there's an option that is hidden in V-Ray. I don't know why the guys put it that complicated. But in color manipulation, they have a default color, which by default is gray. That's why you see this white color, because in the opacity outside this mapping, we are using this gray color. So if, again, if we want to see transparency outside this mapping, check this mapping here. We have white and we have black. So outside this mapping, we have this color. We don't want this color. We want black. So outside this mapping, we want black. And now see what happened. So B-Ray recognized that the color outside the mapping area is black. So they made the whole thing transparent. OK, this is super cool. I think we finished. But there's a problem here. The problem is that in V-Ray, in Rhino, and this is a Rhino thing, the UV mapping are a projections. So it's gonna go through all the way through the back and in every single wall of this bottle. So I have basically a decal in this wall and the in the inside wall of that bottle, I also have the same decal. And because it's a projection, notice how we have a weird deformation here. So, and this is where the thing get complicated a little bit more. We don't have to do anything with the material now, but we have to fix the UV mapping. Okay, so we have to do a custom UV mapping to place the logo in the area that we want. And this is where the thing become difficult. So I'm going to just keep those two. I'm going to isolate the rest. And in order to break this in a custom way, I need to use unwrap. I'm going to use unwrap. And I'm going to try to break this bottle in, in several pieces. But I, I need to have the outside shell in one single surface where I could put the beam map in the middle of that surface, surface, not the beam map, the decal in the middle of that surface. So when I use custom mapping, I have an option telling me select the scene. So imagine that we are breaking this bottle light with a scissor, and then we're going to flatten that in the 2D area. So I really don't care how b I break those bottles, so I'm going to select the whole thing. I really like to select this phase, which is where I'm going to put the decal in a decent way. So I'm breaking this there. And also I need to break the inner part kind of in the same way. So what am I going to happen? What am I going to have? I'm going to have a bunch of surface and two big surface, which is going to be the outside shell and the inside shell of the bottom. So let's click enter. And notice that now we have a mess here in the UV mapping, but we are going to fix that. How we fix that? We are going to go to this view, for example, the top view, and we are going to, to use a UV editor 
we're gonna bring and create a, a box this box represent my my geometry flatter I already is flatter and also in the in order to see the logo or the decal in my in my viewport I have to use use textures I'm gonna do it again so by default it should have use material but I'm going to select use texture then I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna use bitmap and then I'm gonna bring back my, my decal so now you can see the decal in the viewport what I have to do is I have those two surfaces here if you see when I select the surface this is the inner shell and this one is the outside shell this is the actually the surface that I really care I don't care about anything else so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this surface in the in the area where it doesn't get any of my decal information in that white area so remember that white area here because we have this mapping is a black area so this area here is a transparency area in my bottle so i'm going to move all the geometry on those black area in reality they are transparent they are uh, transparent in my render so i'm going to move all the models with the exception of this one but i'm going to move this one to the white area and i'm going to scale it it actually doesn't matter I, I need those area to be on the black area so now we have those on the black those on the on the black also and these which is the one that I care is uh, have my logo so if you check this this is my logo when I move when I move that the logo get moved and get a different Hello? orientation so what I'm going to do, this, this is a uh, revert, so I'm going to move that and then I'm going to scale this. The whole thing, the whole idea is that I've, I scale that and check the, the logo right here. So I'm going to go to my camera. So I need to position that logo in the right area using my scale tools. I'm scaling down so it's squish down I'm working and paying attention on this guy right here so this is my logo let's set that well a little bit more so let's scale it down a little more so it's squish a little bit so I this area get more around okay let's set that this is what I want so I like the position of this logo now here is my texture again the only thing that worried to me is the big surface so I need to move this one no it's actually the big surface which is this guy that the logo is on the right position in my viewport okay that's it I I fixed the UV mapping everything is okay so I'm gonna click apply when I click apply voila so I fixed the whole thing and notice that I don't have anything in my back I don't have a projection I'm using UVW on wrap and everything is just perfectly in the position that I want only on one face and that's it so I'm gonna bring the rest of my model I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna stop this I'm gonna do a production render and that's it this is how you create a custom label or transparency label in a plastic bottle but remember you need to use UVW wrap and forget about all the different geometry you need to focus on the geometry that you want the logo uh, to be placed and you move the other surfaces into a black area and if I bring the UV mapping back, so I'm UW editor, I'm gonna put it in this position. 
If you see that, again, the other surface are in the black area. Black area taking in consideration that I'm using this to control the transparency. So this is the black area, black area. But my logo, the logo is in the right, right there in the center of my bottle. No distortion, no projections. It's just perfectly aligned. So this is it. Hopefully this, I hope this could help you to figure out how to do uh, transparency log, um, decals on a transparency bottle. So I'm going to wait until this finish. Okay. This is the final render. So we have a label there and it's super clean, super transparent.